Okay, in order to understand the misover option, I'm going to first explain the file that I have here. We have first name, last name, and what are supposed to be five different test scores for each person. Notice for Sarah Nova, we're missing two test scores, and notice for Mia Sky, we're missing three test scores. This is where the misover option is going to come into play. And also notice that the delimiter, or in other words, what's separating the variables is a tab delimiter. So we have to tell SAS that we're using a tab delimiter. By default, SAS recognizes spaces as the default delimiter. Okay, so first what we do is we use a data keyword and we give data set a name. I'm gonna call it misover example. And we do in file, single quotations. We put the path in between these single locations. Now, looking at the data file here, uh, we're going to have first name, last name, and then the five different test scores. So we're going to have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different variables. So we do input first name, followed by dollar sign because it's character data, last name, test one, test two, test three, test four, and test five. Now remember we said earlier that we have the tab delimiter in the file. So we have to go to the in file statement and we do DLM equals the option single quotation 09x. This here tells SAS to read the file as having a tab as the delimiter. Now next we want to follow that by misover. This misover option tells SAS that if you get to the end of the data line and there's nothing there, you should go to the next data line to read the data. So what happens is SAS is going to read this first data line as follows. It's going to see there's a first name, last name, test score one, test score two, test score three. But it's going to be looking for a test score of four and five for the first data line, which does not exist. So we tell SAS, okay, that's okay, because it's, it's supposed to be missing that. So it's gonna to go to the next data line and start reading. This whole data line is okay. It totally satisfies the entire input statement. The third data line, again, there's three variables that are missing, test scores three, four, and five. But because we're using the misover option, SAS will say, okay, we'll assign the missing values a period, and we'll go to the next data line to read. Now, when we run the code, We'll see here that it matches the notepad file. We have first name, last name, and we have the test scores. For Sarah Nova, we're missing two test scores. So because we use the misover statement, it's going to put periods in the output data for test four and five. For Nicole Starr, we had all the five test scores. For Mia Sky, we were missing three test score values. So essentially the basic idea of what we've done was we've used the misover option to account for the end of a data line. So here's data line one. There was two missing values which did not line up with test four and five. So it just assigns a period to the missing data as we've just demonstrated in the output data. Also we've used the uh, DLM option of the tab right here to account for the tab delimiter separating the variables in this notepad file.